what grade are you in and how long in tapestry? I'm a sophomore and I was in tapestry for two years. I'm a junior, sorry about that. I was in tapestry for two years. And um, yeah, the tapestry, tapestry program really helped me a lot. They helped me just refocus and they basically reminded me what I was there for and what I came to do. They helped me find my strengths and they helped me find my weaknesses and to work on them. Our staff and students are also here to welcome you and uh, a tour of the of the building and the new freshman academy is obviously part of it and uh, as Mr. Welch said it's our opportunity to brag a little bit. Um, we're, we're pretty proud of it and we think that the students are really happy with it. So Coming in and being able to see that but uh, also making it feel like a school and making it feel welcoming for all of our parents and uh, our community members to come in. Feel free to ask any questions, anything like that, but uh, again, very welcoming space and just glad to have everybody here today. So thank you. Tapestry is an ALOP funded program that provides mentoring, academic, and SEL support to students who may be at risk of not graduating on time. Seniors Plus is our program that works with students who have missed their graduation year. Uh, they are able to come back to Morton and finish up their missing courses so they can graduate successfully on time. Today's list of activities will include sitting in a roundtable discussion with some student advocates and also some current tapestry student, alumni students, as well as some of our Seniors Plus students. I think it's really important because, you know, having a positive, you know, Latino mentor, it really changed my perspective. It broadened my horizons because it's not something I had. It's based on the referral, um, the reason for the referral, it could be academics, it could be attendance, it could be behavior issues. It could be that a staff member had a conversation with a student and they just found out that someone in their life like recently passed or something that they need extra support for. Students will be able to share their experiences, their relationship building with their student advocates and how impactful and how tapestry has been played such a major role in their lives. I was struggling academically and nobody in my middle school kind of recognized it or wanted to. And so when I came here and I had an advocate to help me kind of process it, it was like the first time I'd ever had the opportunity to, if anything, discuss it and had anybody ask me and, and listen. It was something that I definitely needed and it, it gave me the opportunity to kind of reach for my potential and what I could do in the classroom and kind of find joy in it again. Um, and then we, we work on personal goals with them, um, whether it's a goal for the school or an actual personal goal um, that they're struggling with. Uh, so today for me was just very informative and educational uh, and also validating to know that uh, the things that we've been fighting for in Springfield are, are worth it. Um, people don't understand uh, what these students are coming to school with yeah. uh, and the fact that you're meeting them where they're at and and helping them uh, through these life issues uh, is what it's all about. You need to think about how you can share this with your fellow ROEs, ISCs. How do we make sure that other people in the state know what you're doing? Because I think that's just as important as the work you're doing here. If it's working, you need to share it. Yes. They just like to treat us with like people in a way. You know, like tapestry, they open their arms and like, we're family, you know. I feel like I'm family when I'm with them. I heard empowerment, I heard love, I heard passion, I heard so many beautiful words that describe not only our students, but the work that you do. I want to also acknowledge the work of West 40. I know the demographics of this community and that this is a program that intentionally selects staff that can make those connections and have those relationships says a lot. Because that's probably the biggest step for our kids, that they can go to someone that sounds like them, understands what they're going through, their culture, uh, what they're facing, the generational conflict between parents that were not born here and now coming to this country and not understanding the American educational system and, and all of those, those um, just challenges and differences and nuances, that's the recipe, that's the key. The relationships that you have with the students here in this community is amazing. And so I 
I'm proud of each of you, and you inspire me. Thank you. So thank, thank you. you for everything that you do every day.